Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode in and you say foul. We have two mother kills. We actually have to get 10 before we can even unlock the hush fight. That is something that I was not expecting, but we can jump in this time as... I think I'm going to just jump in as Maggie. Maggie's a pretty easy... I can't believe we don't have a mark as Isaac. Sad times. Jump in as Maggie. We'll start doing some greed soon as well and mix those in because we need to get Greedia unlocked. And then on top of that, we need to get the Holy Mantle unlocked for uh, the Lost when we actually start playing as the Lost. All that good stuff. Uh, I do actually kind of like Greedia mode, especially with all the mods that we have that make it more interesting. So I don't mind it. We'll see what this guy gives us. I'm always going to take the treats from this dude. He's there to give us stuff. Grants a random familiar each room. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so each room we get a random familiar from the Retribution mod pack. There is a few really good ones. Um, like, if I remember correctly, the um, Axolotl is really, really good. And um, there's a few, few of a really good ones. So far, we've had Bedbug twice. Um, and I, Bedbug is one that I don't particularly rate. I think he's pretty trash. But he is here to help. He is here to help. Um, as for the question of the day today. As for the question of the day today. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what, what day this will be coming out, but I think it'll be coming out past New Year's, I think? Is that coming out on New Year's, e uh, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve? And oh my goodness, calm your beans, flies, calm your beans. Um, so, how was your New Year's slash what are you doing for New Year's? I've already asked what you're doing for New Year's before, but I think it's going to be coming out the day after. I honestly don't know. It's difficult to remember these things. Um, especially when you're like trying to craft a backlog, it's just so hard to remember when episodes are going to be coming out. And if I want to do a... Oh, lordy, lordy, yes. Um, We don't start with a pill, so we can't do the sack room plays that I'd want to do. I am going to go and do this. There's that axolotl that we got. And here's our cactus buddy we had in the last episode. Okay, let's play out the floor. Um, make sure we don't die. I don't like you. Dude, 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 dude. Stand somewhere where I can hit you, please. Why are you walking like that? Um, I might try and get some sack room players going on here. It might not end up working out, but I'm going to attempt to at least do, do, do this, this enemy. He moves like a goober. I don't like it. He moves like a goober. Um, ooh, hello. I can't, okay, there's the button. Excuse me? This button was false. This button was false. Excuse me, by the way. Can we just talk about reflected items giving us the double dumpy? The double dumpy. Holy. That is so unbelievably good. I can't believe we're getting the double dumpy. Right. Um, grab that. Do this room. Unfortunately, it's a double sized room. I was hoping it wouldn't be. Um, but yeah, double dumpy here. It's going to save us a lot of health over the days. Like, because look, one activated, and then we can go and re-get him. We still have the second one to activate, too. They don't activate at the same time. They actually do, um, they actually do activate separately. So, this is going to be really, really good. Defensively, we've, we've got some options. We're in a good place. But yeah, Maggie should be fine as a character anyways. She's very, very healthy, of course. We'll try and go, uh, dude, this guy is the tankiest boy of all time. Oh, you tried to hit me, but I've got the double dumpy, so it does not affect me. It does not affect me. Right. I'm trying to think of how many players we can get on this. Um, let me grab that real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Random chest. We've got the three coins. Okay, so we need to do one more player here. We've got... Two more players to make that are uh, the good ones. Six and seven, I think, are the uh, the two good players you can make on that. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, I will destroy all these poops to try and get some hearts out of these and potentially some coinage as well. I realise that I want to be trying to make Bosch Rush, so there's another heart there. I want to be trying to make Bosch Rush, so I don't want to be too, um, too slow. But at the same time, Bosch Rush, it is what it is. I'd rather do my due diligence, play sack rooms. I think there might be an unlock for doing sack rooms anyways. Uh, we did get a random chest here. And I think we just want to just go boop, like that. We got the soul heart. Okay. I will try and pay into this. I think we can. I think they pay out after seven coins. So yeah, there you go. Look at this. Perfect. Perfection itself. Perfection itself. Okay. 
This is a good floor so far. We didn't get the angel deal that we wanted, but we got a lot of money. We got a lot of soul hearts. We backed ourselves up really nicely for later in the game. I would like to get Steam Sale here, but we'll see if that's plausible at all. Uh, Steam Sale early on would be pretty awesome. Come on, two pennies, two pennies. Darn you poop. How could you do this to me? Okay, there's more poop, there's more poop. Pennies are still plausible. But yeah, it means we've got like one little dumpy to protect us while we're trying to retrieve the other one. Like, look, look at that, look at that. It just jumps washes right off our back. Right, one second here. Okay, let's continue on. We've got a hermit here. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be getting steam sale, which is a little bit of a shame. I could try and go harder on the, um, I could try and go harder on the, oh, thank you, Dumpy, on the sack room and get some money out of that, I guess. Money or soul hearts, but I don't know if that's the best idea. Oh, God. You're being a bit tricky, aren't you, boy? I kind of want to just get him to run straight into this cactus and sit on top of it, but I don't know how viable that's going to be. Because honestly, last time, that was a strategy that worked pretty damn well. That was a strategy that worked pretty damn well. Come on. Straight into the cactus, boy. There, look at that. Such... Oh, come on. You're so close. Good damage, though, from him exploding. Another soul heart. Another one. This is obscene. Um... How many players are we off of the good player? Um, one moment here. Okay, so. Troll bombs. Uriel, which we're not going to fight. And then last one. And there's the money. Hazard. Okay, that's how we like to do it. That's how we like to do it. Apologies, just to fix something work-related. We're at 43 cent now, so I think we very much take that. And we get the hell out of this floor. We've been on this floor ages, so boss rush probably isn't going to happen. But hey her. this is a good floor regardless. So let's do this, then we'll we'll uh, pop the Hermit card like straight away on the next floor, I think. Just pop it soon as. Let's see what we can buy or donate. Um, I think, honestly, based on that item, I'm going to donate most of this. I'm going to leave myself with um, 14 cents so I can buy two new items. There you go. In case I want them. Uh, but everything else is fine to go. You can't hit me. I have dumpy protection. I have the power of dumb. I, I mean, I can literally just, like, walk into things and be fine. Like, honestly, getting getting some sort of contact damage thing might be quite, quite good. Although, I don't know if it'll actually count as contact damage, so I'm not sure if that'll even work. Okay, we've got bed bug here, or whatever this, this one is. Is this bed bug, or is the other one bed bug? It looks very similar. This is, like, a duke fly sort of looking thing. Um, I mean... Wait, is that? Taking damage of 5% chance. Ah, oh, it's only 5%. But it does it does mean that our black arts will deal double. That's good. Okay, one of our dumpies is stuck. So we are one dumpy down. But, as you can see, that does not matter for us. This is actually insane how powerful this is, having two of them. What a great item for it for to blah, 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 for it to choose to be reflected. Like, actually, probably the best it could have chosen. Probably the best it could have chosen. Oh my goodness. You're just going to knock everything around. I love having these tiny little tears. It looks so strange having this high damage, these tiny little tears. And then we get Stitches, which I think is actually worth taking at this point, and I think is actually now very much worth us taking the Voodoo Head, too. Because more, um, more Cash Rooms is going to be really, really good. But we're not going to get one this floor, so we can just pick it up on the way back. But yeah, because uh, then we can get into a bunch of Cash Rooms for free with, uh, Stitches. Stitches is just insanely good in general. I mean, we can do the telefragging, which is really nice. In fact, the telefragging with Little Dumpy might be something we want to look at. Because I'm not going to get hit as often when doing it. 
Then we can back away from that. One second. Okay, let's continue onwards. What are we getting on with? Sorry, I'm, I'm in the middle of do like, I say in the middle. I, I got sort of asked to do something at work and I'm just kind of going back and forward between playing a bit of this and <laughs> fixing things because I'm just waiting on responses. It is, it is. Oh, I should have, I should have tried to play that a little bit better. Boom. Boom. Yes. I can use my, my teleport and then I've got Dumpy as safety. Dumpy is my safety. I can actually just use the contact damage from Stitches to do a lot of damage here, to be honest. This this room is kind of treacherous, to be honest, with the amount of uh, the bounty mushrooms there are. There you go. Like, look at that. So we, we would have got hit there, but Dumpy saved me. And again. And again. <laughs> oh, no. I actually got hit that time. It's impossible. How could this happen? I don't think I'm going to take Shoop it, even if I get it. It's just so hard to hit the enemies because the tears are so small and bouncing off. So we did get Shoop. I don't think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to stick with Stitches. Just because I think Stitches has the potential to be so much better later on. Um, especially if we get Voodoo. We didn't get a bomb for that, unfortunately. Did we get one in the shop, perhaps? I don't think we did, but... We got the sa I love the sour face it gives you. <laughs> yeah, we might as well buy this now. And honestly, let's buy this as well. Uh, there you go. And then see if we get the bomb. And we very much did. Is it this room or the room before? Room before. Again, a lot of backtracking. A lot of time wasting. But, hey her. A single soul heart. Certainly nothing to turn our nose up at. I don't know. Maybe I do want to take devil deals this time around. I'm feeling like it's a potential... Uh, Avenue for us. I'll at least check it out. What card did we get? Wheel of Fortune. I'll keep the Wheel of Fortune because we might end up getting uh, an uh, opportunity to, to bomb it. Oh god. Okay. My dude here just killed everything. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Yeah, let's go and check it out. That's a really nice fire rate boost for us there. Um, Yes, I will take that. Oh, we got flight now. <laughs> I used the teleport to get over that. I didn't even need to. Right. Let's go. So even if we didn't have stitches now, we still have a, a way of not losing as much health to the cursed doors. That's not as big of a problem. But spite, 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 flight and spectral are just two really good things to have anyways. What is it with our runs at the minute and having tiny tears? It seems to just be a, a common occurrence in all of our runs to have really small tears. Strange. Uh, your listen is fantastic. Gonna give us a nice bead on where our devil deal, our devil deals are, our secret rooms are. God damn. Um, and we do get the Bible. Honestly, the Bible is very tempting to take for the pure fact that that there is an unlock with the Bible. Oh hello, fistful of ash. Three bombs tinted rocks have uh, an odder visual. Breaking tinted rocks spawns half a heart and grants a fading temporary damage up. More tinted rocks. Breaking tinted rocks. Also has a 50% chance to remove a broken heart, gain a broken heart each floor. Well, that sounds horrendous and potentially dangerous, but also really fun. So I'm going to give that a go. I wonder how many more Tinted Rocks it's going to give us. The thing is, at the minute, we don't have many bombs, so it's a little scary in that regard. I would like more bombs before uh, this starts popping off. But... Your listen will point out Tinted Rocks to us. They do have an odder visual, it said, so I'm guessing they're going to be a lot easier to see than normal. But even if we do miss them, like, visually, we're not going to miss them altogether because your listen will um, will point them out to us. You are hard to hit, my good friend. Ooh, Magic Mush. Ah, I always hope and pray, but it's never, it, it's never true. It's never the source. But I don't even know if this floor will be affected by the item. We might not actually end up getting anything... Um, this floor in terms of new, new tinted rocks. Ooh, what's this? Chili powder. Um, keys are replaced in terms of spicy keys. Ah, nah. Um, spicy keys are doubled, but damage the player. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that. Okay, so there's the tinted rock that's got the more distinct visual. And that is a that is a pretty hefty damage up, honestly. Holy hell. When it said fading damage up, I didn't expect it to be this crazy. I thought it'd be, like, very temporary, very fleeting, but this is, uh, it's a hefty damage up that's going to last us a good amount of time. 
honestly, dumpies are going to be working overtime on this boss. Because this boss is hot trash. We need to be recovering our dumpies whenever possible. God damn, yeah, this this boss. This boss is is just Oh, we did get hit there apparently. Apparently I don't have a little dumpy with me. Or maybe I do. I, I, I you just you never know what's going on with this boss. It's just chaos. It's just absolute chaos. If anyone was able to decipher the mess that is Kingpin, I applaud you. I'm surprised he hasn't been changed yet. I really am. It's just so bizarre as a boss. Still got hit somehow there. Spawn a blue spider whenever picking up a coin. That seems pretty good. We'll take that. And we will go. So our damage up has fully faded now. Um, but that's a, that's a pretty hefty damage up that we're going to be getting there. So be on the lookout for the Tinted Rocks. We did unfortunately get our broken heart there. There's one. Mr. Mega unlocked. Awesome. We got a bomb back for that one as well. Awesome. I really like that visual when you blow up the Tinted Rocks too. Um, I should not say, why is this room not open yet? Turns out there's just some jumpy boys lurking in the depths. Lurking in the depths. One second. Okay, nothing yet. One second. Okay, let's keep it going. Oh, by the way, something that's really cool. Someone made a mod that gives you off-screen indicators of where things are. So, you'll be able to see that Stitches, it points out where he is when he's off-screen. And does it for many, many different things. It's really cool. Really cool. We've got... Um, heart container on damage triggers a random on damage effect. I'll take that. Why not? Sounds interesting. It sounds like it could be pretty good. We'll give that a go. Um, and we can come over here and go... Like that to get in there for free. I don't need to do that on the way in, actually, do I? I only need to do it on the way out. Stupid. I do have flight, so it doesn't matter about on the way in. Oh, unfortunately, we don't have the keys for that. We got the Swallowed M90 again. That didn't actually prove to be very useful last time. I thought that'd be really good, but it didn't do much damage. We have faded back down to regular damage now. There's another Tinted Rock there. Holy hell, let you open. Ah, oh, I tried to let him open. Check our regular item room first. Uh, Brownie, um, in uncleared rooms, you'll occasionally summon friendly corn mines uh, and then leave a sporadic trail of slippery brown creep for a short time. Sounds good. Nice. This is a really cool item, and yeah, the, the the damage it's giving us is is kind of kind of amazing. And it seems we're getting quite a lot more tinted rocks per floor too. I hope we get keep like keep getting enough bombs to to keep up with the demand here. Right, so go fly in like normal, and then stitches out. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And yeah, that damage is lasting quite a long time here because we've got two, two going. It's it's kind of weird because it looks like um, looks like we have less damage than we do because of our tier size, but we do actually have quite a lot of damage here. Oh my god! Cast the tower triggered that time around. That random on hit effect. It's going to be a problem sometimes, I think. Oh, we got one of these machines. Oh wow. Okay, it paid out on the first pull. We get two look upgrades. And a range upgrade. Not bad. Just checking what that was. I don't really care. Right. Carry on my wayward son. We need rooms with lots of rocks is what we need. The more rocks in a room, the better for us. We need a key here. Key, key, key. Ah, Bombs are nice, but come on. We need keys to get into that shop. We are at 17 minutes here, so yeah, boss rush is pretty much out of the question at this point. Spawn two batteries. We don't need anything to do with that right now. That is very nice, however. I'll take that. The double soul hearts are actually pretty common. Um, I might want to see if I can go into the into the mods and turn that down a little bit. Because, yeah, I wasn't expecting the doubled... Um, 
the doubled soul hearts to be quite so common. They seem to replace with around a 10% chance, which is actually kind of ridiculous. It's nice that they exist, but it is making the game a bit easier from time to time when we're getting doubled soul hearts, wouldn't you say? And we shouldn't be getting them, it's sort of the thing. Like, we should be getting a regular soul heart and instead we're getting a doubled one. Right, just checking this work thing now. I shall pause in but a second. Right, we're back. We are starting the next floor with, again, a broken heart. So we are going to be losing health to that every now and again. But not much we can do about it. I'm hoping we get a key here. Ooh, Haunted Rose. An item that I absolutely love. Um, on damage, we can spawn ghosts. It also gives us a heart container too. I, I believe it gives us a heart container, I think. But it's still, it's really good. On damage, getting the Haunted Rose spawning is going to be good. We're still going to be looking out for those Cinderox. Oh, I actually have to kill this guy. For some reason, I always assume the ghost enemies just disappear on room clear. But that's not the case many of the time. Extra bomb. We're doing okay on bombs right now. Okay, don't trigger the spooky, spooky boy. Don't trigger the spooky boy and he'll have no power over us. No power whatsoever. Oh, God. It is unfortunate that, like, now I've kind of got used to the damage we get from the Tinted Rocks. And so when we don't have it, it feels... I feel a bit underwhelming. I feel like I'm not really doing too much. So I'm really hoping we can get that going a bit more often. Whoa. That guy got bounced around like crazy. Okay, this is a very annoying set of enemies for this type of room here. God damn, the Fiend Folio devs really do know how to make annoying rooms, don't they? Uh, let's crack this open. Might be able to get... I was going to say we might be able to get a soul of the Keeper, but we don't have any soul stones unlocked yet. It's going to be a really long time since we see any of those, unfortunately. But that is part of the charm of um, our new save file. We get to feel like we've earned those things rather than just having them. It's, it, it, does, it does lead to a little less variety, which I understand some people don't like as much. But I don't know. I think it's fine. Uh, I think we can probably play this guy out. Still no Tinted Rock, sadly. Faulty Fuse. I don't know what that does. Increased chance for Copper Bombs to spawn. Nah, I'm okay, thanks. Really? Could you, like, pay out with something, please? Oh my god, that guy was trash. I pay out with anything. Nada. Not a single thing. Dude, he keeps swiping my tears away. We do have a... Secret room here. Tainted rocks have been unlocked. Awesome. That's pretty good. Although, I don't think they can drop cracked keys yet. I think cracked keys are something that aren't... Like, that they aren't unlocked until um, we beat the beast at least once. So, I think cracked keys are going to be something that we have to wait a little bit for. But, if they are already unlocked, that could be really interesting. Because it means that we could potentially um, unlock... We could potentially... Oh, wait a minute. Is that a tinted drop there? We could potentially get some stuff early. I will not open that yet. We could potentially get some stuff early um, in terms of unlocking our tinted characters. I think. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know exactly how that'll work. Yay! It even gives us a little dumpy thing look. A little dumpy indicator to tell us where our dumpies are. That is so cool. What a good addition to the game. It's something that, like, you never really think about needing. You never really think is something that's important. But... Once the option is, like, there to have it, you're like, oh, damn. How did this game not have that? Is, are you ki Are you actually kidding me? How did that bomb not open that secret room? I'm not trying again. I can bugger off if you think I'm trying again with my last bomb. Okay, we are spending extra time, but it's kind of nice to spend the extra time on these early floors anyways, because our runs aren't as long at the minute, so I don't really mind it as much. Check this out. Compass, rather nice. Honestly, a bomb as well, pretty good. And I think we just donate the rest. Got a look upgrade from donating. Hopefully we can get up to 100 next run. We do have another tainted treasure room here, which we unfortunately can't get into right now. Oh, just straight up killed the guy. Yeah, sadly we don't have the keys to get in there. Well, we've had a distinct lack of keys in general on this run, to be honest. One sec. Okay, back again. Sorry for all the pausing. It's been 
a pretty pretty hectic day considering. It wasn't supposed to be that much going on, but it's been more than I anticipated. Oh, another thing, by the way. Um, oh, sad onion, lovely. Love a bit of sad onion. Um, another thing uh, I just wanted to mention. People, I've, I've seen a few people in the comments saying that they'd like to see the face cam more often. I, I don't think it's something that I want to add to the series as like a permanent thing because I know there's some people that don't that, that don't like it. There's some people that don't prefer it and also I, I don't want to have to look good <laughs> every time I make a video. But um, if people would like to see it more often, then I can sort of bring it every now and again if people would enjoy that. Um, it's really up to you guys. I'm fine to kind of go with the flow and do whatever people would like to see. Um, now that I'm sort of more comfortable with obviously my face being out there and, and doing a face cam, I wouldn't mind it being something that I do a little more regularly. It's not something I want to do for every episode, like I said, but I wouldn't mind having it every now and again. Okay, you are in an absolute pain. This, this boy. Oops. What the hell happened then? I got a random on-hit effect, and apparently the on-hit effect was the glowing hourglass. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. This is taking forever. I'm just going to keep dumping on you, dude. I'm just going to keep dumping on you. A wooden spoon. Kind of nice, actually. Black chests have been unlocked too. Um, we get backstabber. We need to go deeper. I'm going to take we need to go deeper here. We need to go deeper is pretty good. Um, let's quickly just open a crawl space here. A frail fly. How exactly do I get down there? Can I get down there? Maybe? I mean, that could be opened. I don't see any way down there, to be honest. There might be a secret to get down there. I'm not going to worry about it for now. Let's just head on to the next floor. Ooh, wait. Soul Heart I can pick up. Really not worried about the timer at this point. We are way beyond being able to make it for time, so... We are going to get another Broken Heart here, unfortunately, because we didn't get any Tinted Rocks that floor. Oh, no, we got one, but wasn't enough to remove all of our broken hearts. We are going to get another one. Just is a shame, but we should hopefully be able to recuperate those losses fairly quickly, I'd hope. Oh god. Things being charmed is confusing me. Oh, we got another... T Honestly, it really wants to give me the tinted treasures right now. It really wants it to give me them, so I'm really hoping we get the keys to be able to open this one this time, because it's, it's getting a little sad having the opportunity to see such cool, poten potentially cool items and getting no way to actually see them. I'm hoping it's not Steam Cell. I'm hoping it's the, the, the Sad Onion version. The, is it called Mad Onion? Tinted Rocks, Tinted Rocks. Oh, where are you? Oh, God. Slightly horrible room there. I need to be using these corn mines more often as well. They're actually pretty damaging to enemies. They do a good amount of poison and stuff, so... If I can plop one down and then get enemies to walk over them. Happy days for us. We don't have stitches anymore, but I am still going to go in here and check this out. Oh god. The on-hit effect's triggering, screwing me over there. Lovely. Not, not what I intended to do at all, but... Game was like, nope, you're going to explode right now. Another crawl space. Good, good. Unfortunately, still no keys. We do have a stars card, apparently. I don't know where I got that from, but I'll take it. Metal plate is decent. Oh god, I did, I did plop a mine down there. Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time. I need, need more damage right now. Metal plate is definitely good for defense, but we need offense. And for that, I need tinted rocks. There's one, there's one. Beautiful. Oh, and look. Beautiful. Something that requires a key that we don't have again.
Oh god, these guys just get bopped into the fires. Easy enough. Wow. I didn't realize it'd be so simple to kill those guys. I'm trying to go into all these big rooms here just because they have the highest chance of Tinted Rocks. As we can see here. Okay, we got our health back. We got a good amount of damage sitting here too. Ow. Ignore that. Empress rather nice. We got one key so far, but that's not even close to what we need. I'll open this, why not? I was hoping for a key. There's another tinted rock. Ooh, the cursed dice is honestly really, really good. But I'm going to stick where we need to go deeper because it's very, very good when you get it early in a save file. Very, very good indeed. It allows you to cheese some things. And I'm sure those of you that know what I'm talking about are already ready for what's to come. That's a lot and a lot of tinted rocks there. We've, we've, uh, we've got some good stuff going on. So now we can go to our tinted treasure room. And like I said, please don't let it be steam sale. I really don't need that right now. But it will be. Fuck's sake. I'll take it. But honestly, Steam Sale is like the most upsetting one to get. Because it's just not very impactful. The rest of them are so impactful and so interesting. And that one just really isn't. Where did we get that Dark Charger from? I do not know. Yeah, I don't really need you to do much, do I? I can just kill you after it's all said and done. Or you'll just die straight away. Good. Okay, that's fine by me. A rotten heart something that need to be unlocked. I don't think I've seen any rotten hearts yet. I don't know if there's something that needs to be unlocked or not. They might well be. But looking at the amount of damage up we got right now, we'll probably end up making it to the boss. Still having some damage up to go at. Unfortunately, not what we're looking for. We will donate... As much as we can here. Like I said, hopefully get to 100 on the next run. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah! The hell? Oh, there's more enemies here. I was very confused for a moment then. Ho, 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 yes. I was like, let's open that just in case. Eight inch nails, beautiful. The sort of damage up we're looking for. So that damage up doesn't require us to have a fit. Like, it's damage up that we have regardless of getting tinted rocks or not. So I very much like that. Okay, our dumpy's back. You can try and hand me, but I will not accept. We get some extra HP. And we get black powder. Unfortunately, not very good. Headless baby is actually okay. Um, I'm going to take headless baby. The rest I'm kind of meh on. And honestly, bye. <laughs> I probably should have gone for the crawl space first. But I'm like, that whole floor, just don't care. <laughs> just don't care. <laughs> probably a bit of a waste, but yeah. Hoping we get a bomb for that tinted rock there. Remove one of those broken hearts that I just gained. Just money so far. But we have good base damage regardless here, so it's not a huge problem if we don't get what we need. But I'm going to try and uh, play out the rest of this floor to get some good stuff going. Really, I'm just like playing this with the, the idea that Dumpy is here to save me at all times. With my knight in shining armor. Will always be there for me. Damn it, I was hoping it'd be uh, Wrath so we could get some more bombs going. What do you drop on deck? I can remember. Is it a pill? It's not a pill, is it? It's Anarchist Cookbook, which is not what I was looking for, but I will take to try and get that tinted rock real quick. Wherever that was. Was it here? Yes, it was here. <clears throat> Great. Didn't work. It did get that, though. Mm. 
When you would take fatal damage, all red heart containers convert into empty burn hearts. That seems pretty decent. Why not take that? Why not, why not, why not? I do not want the cracked skull, thank you. I want my grubby penny. There's so many soul hearts on the floor right now. Can I actually, just let me check, can I actually change the health thing in the settings by any chance? Um, it's called like more hearts or something like that. Um, it doesn't look like it. Might just be me missing it. Let's check this menu as well. No, it doesn't look like it. Unfortunate. But I, I would like to tweak that a little bit just to maybe get the balance a little more in check. Right. Give us one more bomb and one more tinted drop before the end of this floor. And I'd be very, very happy. That's a good trinket. I'll take that even though I don't need it. Thank you, Double Dumpy, for saving me once again. Right, let's go do some extra work on this floor. Just because we have two curse rooms we can now get into for free. I realize our damage is dwindling. Our damage buff is dwindling, should I say, but it's fine. Spawns spicy peas. That's more bombs. Good, good. I don't really need that, to be honest. I'm not going to take it. Okay. We should do, yeah, we should just do a little bit more checking for, for any tinted rocks we can find. Fleshy chests are unlocked. Okay, we're getting lucky with the unlocks from uh, Rep Plus here, I think. Oh, you bastard. Okay, thank, thank, thank God it just reverted us. But it did unfortunately change what chests are in here. I do not want cracked in for me. I think cracked in for me is what's just triggered the item effect that I just got, actually. Come on, one more tinted rock on this floor. You know you want to give me it. 8.46 damage is, is more than enough, to be honest, but... The more I can get, the better here. What the hell are you? It's a very strange attack pattern. I like it, but it's very odd. Hey, there's one. Make sure to kill it on the way back, though, so we keep as much damage as possible. I see you pointing it out. I see it. I see it. Don't worry. I just want to check all the possibilities first. Probably another one of these guys, yep. Okay, no more tinted rocks in here. Extra keys. I don't think we're going to need them, but I'll take them. Drop on there. So that's the last one there. Ah, I dropped that mine in a terrible spot. Hoping that would work a bit better for us. Come on, one more and I'll be happy. One more. I like the way the Dumpy, like, shoots the shots back as well. Like, launches in the other direction. Ah, come on now. That's a shame. We're going to have to fight this boss as well now. Wasn't really expecting that, but... Hey, her. I don't even know how hard of a boss this guy is. I've, I've fought him so rarely. He just reminds me of Bertrand. Oh, God. Interesting. I could just bomb him, but... Honestly, I really want to keep as many bombs as I can here, so he perishes the regular way. Oh, he's just kept that, that line there. Unfortunately, we're only getting one more tinted rock this floor. It'll have to do. And it is in the room to the left of this one, I believe. Right. Wait, that didn't... I didn't remove a broken heart. Can I only do that once per floor, maybe? That must be it. I, can, I must only be able to re remove one per floor. That's a bit of a shame, because I was really hoping and banking on being able to remove another broken heart here. It is what it is. At least we get the damage for the boss fight, or at least the majority of the damage. Ow. Good hit.
There's ghost bomb in there, lovely. And I think, yes, okay, so that's there. I think that should just stay there, right? It does good. Um, and I can quickly just go back, pick up another soul heart. We are going to get another broken heart. So, in fact, picking up that soul heart made no difference, I'll be honest. Um, and we can actually do an additional floor. It's a little bit cheaty, but if you have, we need to go deeper before unlocking mom, you can actually get down to a floor you're not meant to be able to get to, which is is, is kind of it's kind of nice. But yeah, we are unfortunately now at three broken hearts. I will take this opportunity to check this. Oh, we got terror. That is super rare. Terror's like, uh, stone chests have the chance to drop stone items, and terror is in that, but it's such a small chance. It's like a 0.1% chance of getting terror. So that's really rare, really useful for us, because we can destroy our tinted rocks super easily now. And also, it's just a nice damage up. Just a nice bit of additional damage. Oh god, I didn't expect this to be so difficult. We can use our bombs now to uh, just attack this guy. Because um, we don't need them for tinted rocks anymore. Ghost bomb, lovely. He's almost in brimstone phase. Okay, he's in brimstone phase now, so just get ready for that. I'm going to try and kill him before he does any brimstone, to be honest. Okay, he actually has that light beam now. We know when that's coming. That's lovely. Right. On our way to our boss. Oh, we did get one of these bomb reroll machines. They're pretty good. Mysterious gift unlocked. Destroy 500 rocks. Might have been a bad idea to do that during combat, but yep, it's done now. Dumpy, did you just fart that, um, fart that away from the... Oh my god, you dick. He did. You farted it away from that blue fire. Don't fart on it. Damn it. I don't know where any of the enemies are here. Oh god. Oh god. How do my dumpies keep getting taken out so quickly? Book of Sin. Getting a lot of unlocks going here. Didn't even realise Book of Sin was an unlock, but there you go. Fills the room with a random creep type. Okay, that sounds pretty useful for that uh, Mega Certain fight. He's got his big foot and stuff. Flooring upgrade. I like the sound of that. Spawns a void blood machine, I'm fine, thank you. Oh god, these poops scare me. Come on, can we get like one tinted rock before our boss, maybe? These guys are insane now. I did not realise these, these guys got changed. But the fact that they get launched away and leave a blood pile is, is kind of scary. My god, I'm having a hard time killing these things. Thank you for just bombing all of them there. It all grouped up for me. Lovely. Oh my god, there's more of them. Fuck. They just spawn so many spiders and then there's all the bodies to deal with as well. It's just absolute pain. Ooh, I just realised with terror I can just like zoom through these rooms without completing them. Check for tinted rocks and be on my way. I completely forgot about that. Door stop, thank you. I'm just going to check all these rooms here to see if there's any tinted rocks. The thing is, I can destroy them and leave the room as well, so... It's definitely the way to do this. Okay, I didn't get any tinted rocks there. Nor here. Uh, why is that door not opening? I think it's a mini-boss room. Oh no, it's not mini-boss, it's the, it's the floor boss, isn't it? The boss that always spawns on this floor. I don't want to deal with him right now, I'll be honest. I will check out this room over here, though. No, no, no. Okay, it looks like we've not really got much to go out here, sadly. That is a shame. But it was a good tactic, regardless. Terror, kind of useful for this sort of thing. Got the skip card as well. Thank you. 
I don't want to be dealing with this guy yet. You don't really have the damage for a boss, an enemy like that, to be honest. We did get this, which gives us a golden heart, which is kind of decent. Right. Oh, dude! It fucking... The, the poop thing shot my bomb away. That was so evil. That was so evil. Hey, I axolotl died, though, which is... Sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually a really good thing, because now it's going to just periodically spawn flies. Get my dumpies to save me here. Flooring upgrade. Oh, really? It spawned like the most useless type of creep. It had so many options to go at, and that's what it picked. And it, it lasted like two seconds as well. What was that? I thought it was going to be ace. I thought it was going to be like a saving grace. It was awful. This, this shouldn't be too hard, though. There you go. We got him. And there you go, an extra boss done as Maggie. We got the opportunity and we took it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, we unlocked Judas. Nice. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.